Hey y'all, welcome to Hot Product Tuesday. Um, first in a uh, series I wanna start out on uh, you know, covering some of the uh, some of the stuff that goes into building these hot rods, uh, wiring harnesses, uh, wheels, um, engines, motor people that build them, things like that. You know, we cover the hot rods, and that's cool, finished products. But I kind of want to give you some idea about parts and ways of doing things, and you know, just a little bit more help um, out there to figuring out uh, how all this stuff works. And we're going to start out here uh, with the first one at Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors. He's just finished up a C1 Corvette, and he's got uh, he's got a C design that's going to give you a little more room and that's the biggest problem with c1s is that uh, a guy like me just can't fit in one um Birchett has extended the foot box to give you a little more leg room but <laughs> it still doesn't give you any more room between that seat back and that steering wheel or headroom if you got a top on it so steve's got a cure to that a product that's going to be hitting the market pretty soon that i think y'all are going to like and uh, that's how we're going to start out this series so anyways let me run steve down and uh, we'll find out what hot product he's got Steve, how you doing, brother? Doing good, Scotty. How you doing? Not too bad. You got another one turned out beautiful, I see. Yes, sir. You got a little 62 Corvette. And Full custom interior. Oh, yeah. We did this sort of like the uh, original style look. Right. You know, except the originally, you know, these cars had screws that held all these door panels and everything in. Right. We actually took, made all the door panels, made them look original. We used the same design, but we used a, a Clayton machine, aluminum trim, polished it up. Same thing with here. So it, it, all that looks like factory stuff, but it's a lot later model. You know, it's got the same It's got a little design. modern touch to it. But yeah, right. we made the modern touch, covered the dash in leather, French seamed, you know, all around here and right. fitted that and looked really neat. And then made a set of custom seats for it that if you notice, they sit way down in the car and well, way back. Yeah, let's start out for people that don't know. The biggest problem with these C1 Corvettes is they look cool, very stylish, got all kinds of right. you know pizzazz to them. But a man of a normal size can't fit in them. Right. Originally, them seats they set up about this high, and they sit all the way up to about right here. They 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 follow this same curve. Right. But they they're all the way out to here, so that pushes you right up into the steering wheel. So if you wanted to drive this car comfortably. You know, the best thing to do is drop this thing on the ground right. and slide it all the way back. You know, back in 62, they didn't have many buffets. Nowadays, right. they got buffets, you know? Right, right, so right. we got to make a little room for, right. for them big steak For the successful like man that has this car, I understand. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So what did you do? What do we got going on here? Because those seats, yeah, I mean, if I didn't know, they look like normal stock Corvette seats. Yeah, they, that's, where, that's the way we built these things. We built them to where it looks like that seat came with this car right even though it didn't the factory seat anybody that knows and seen one of these or owned one of these know that it, it looks nothing like the the seat you know as far as the depth and, and how far you can back. see the difference when you spot it a mile away oh yeah if you know yeah. what you're looking at exactly anybody yeah. that looks in this car is like man them's custom made seats right so they, and so what do you do file them down these right here these sets right here is actually made um i made all this out of uh, plastic Heated it, formed it, shaped it, and everything. And um, I got with a guy, Larry Burchett, and uh, we had talked about making some fiberglass molds that we can actually mold a fiberglass. And then all you have to do is put a two inch piece of foam around the whole thing, cover it in leather, and you've got this seat. Wow, how so cool is that? We're just and then, I mean, I, as far as mounting them, is there mounting brackets or anything for a custom needs to be done there? How's that work? Yeah, if you don't care, drive that snap right there, unsnap that. And then this is all factory back here. So what we done for the top, we made a mountain bracket that you take these three screws out that holds this tray in. Right. We used a factory hose and we put made a mounting bracket that mounts on the back of the seat so this stays there. So we used the factory hose and just put a little bit longer screw in it. So that held all this in place. It ain't okay. going anywhere. Right, very solid. Right, I mean, it's it's, it's and, that, and, and I mean, these older cars are all a little bit different here and there. So if you had one, you could kind of adjust that when you got your seat, you could adjust yeah. the mounting bracket on it. Yeah, if you get a, if you get just a fiberglass mold, you can right. stick your bracket back here, put your fiberglass mold where it's gonna be. You come up about an inch and a half below this and mark it because you're gonna allow for your foam. Right. And then you'll uh, mount your brackets right there and then foam it up. You can cover it however you want it, design it however you want it and that that part is stationary and this is a two-part seat oh, okay. so this bottom part right here we've actually velcroed it it's it ain't going away either yeah, yeah, yeah that's some good velcro see that's uh that's velcroed to the right. floor so that you just push that right back underneath right underneath that seat 
and I just sort of, that, I sort yeah. of push it in a little tight so it'll be, a, you know, right, right. Get that good tight fit. And then you just put press it down, and it's in there stationary. Yeah. It's not going anywhere anyway. So well, and, you're, and, you're, and it's for people worried about safety belts. Their safety belts aren't mounted to the seat; they're mounted to the car. Right. Yeah. So, you yeah, yeah, use yeah. the stock, stock right. factory uh, seat belt mounts right. for that. So I mean, the only thing that floor this seat's doing is you're just sitting on your seat belt's going to hold you in place. Right. Right. This is not going anywhere. Right. You know, everything else is going to stay right where it's at. And um, how much the, you, you figure? How much room you're gathering? You got to be getting a couple inches both oh, ways. Oh, you get right? at least three, three to four inches. Some people said six. I don't see yeah. six, but you know, you get a, a bare minimum of four inches down right and then another well you can see right here holy cow the that, stock state come up to here yeah so you you've got you've gained another four or five four or five inches, inches yeah, going easy. back so yeah, that's yeah. a lot when that there's a lot more room in a car oh yeah Man. when you're six foot or you know it's comfortable for anybody right no i understand that now what if uh what if i've already got one of these things done could you just make me some of these seats and send them to me you know, I'm pretty sure that we're we're going to uh, figure out a way to where if you wanted a black set of seats, right? You know, you say, hey, I, I want to buy a set of your seat, seats. I want them done in black. We can do them in black, red, green. And, you know, it doesn't Any matter color, if you got right? a color slot swatch or some leather or whatever. Right. You know, we can cover it. You can use your imagination if you want a different color of stitching in it. You can do a different color stitching, different insert, different buttons, different anything. I mean, you know, your, so, yeah, your imagination the is limit. endless. Yeah. yeah, the sky's the limit. But this is the overall design that you would have. You'd have a good bolster, you know, right. all the way around. This right here is the back lumbar. It sits good in your back. And, uh, you know, you see how this, this thing's curved like this? Man. It's not just a flat seat. It That's sits right. real good on you. It's got, I mean, it sets you in the seat and it holds you in there good. You know, as far as the possibilities of, are endless with what color you could do, com right. com Styles and combinations, like yeah. you know, French scenes. I mean, that's cool that you could get, you could, I mean, because I bet you there's going to be a lot of people that either have a car like this or want to get one like this but can't fit in it that are going to be calling for them seats. When do you, any idea when something like that might be available? Well, we actually, we'd, I just talked to Larry Burchett about this, so okay. I've got a mold up here if you want to we'll get it. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll yeah. get to that. I've got a mold up here. I'll show you what we're going to do, and then we're going to make a... Um, Make a fiberglass mold, and you know we got to see how it'll be after SEMA. You know okay. it'd be nice if we could do it, take it to SEMA, right, show them right, off, right, but right. It'll, it'll be after SEMA. So, so sometime this winter they'll be available. Yeah, just follow me or follow Steve, and we'll let you know on the channel oh, yeah. or Facebook when it's available. Yeah, because once we get the molds popped out and stuff, you know, if you wanted an order set, the mold would already be there for the car. We could just you know wrap it in the foam. Right. And put the leather on it, whatever design you want. If you see a picture that you of something you like, a design, we can right. incorporate that design into the car uh, or into that seat. Again, it goes back to the sky's the limit as far as money exactly, goes. Yeah. You can get a base set, but if you sent some magazine picture in and said, "Hey, can you get these seats for my C1?" You know, and make them so I can sit in them, then yeah. you could do something like that. You can do style. a Ferrari style interior with the diamond tongue. Uh, I mean, yeah, or yeah, anything. Yeah, anything. You know, anything. It's Holy sky's the limit. cow! So, you know, that's that's endless. And then I'm going to try eventually. Uh, I've got another guy that's wanting to talk to me about doing the 73 to, I mean, the 63 to 67 Corvettes. Okay. You know, this is the 62 back, so right. I'll take care of this generation. So now we'll have to work on something with the, the 63 to 67 Corvette. Right. Getting a little more room, making them more comfortable. Exactly. They're the same way. There's no room in them cars either. Right. Now, now what we got here. All of this will be, this is just what I've made. You know, I've, I've fitted all this plastic, heated it, molded it to where we got that shape. It'll actually have another little lumbar right here in this part on the top. In the and actual fiberglass itself? In the actual okay. fiberglass. So when you get the fiberglass, it will look just like this, but all one smooth uh, piece. piece of fiberglass, right, yeah. And then you take just your half, uh, two inch foam, now, what kind of foam is that? You know, we're going to get tons of questions about the particular name of the foam. Where do you get it at? I mean, what, what, what to get, give me the lowdown on that. This foam. right here, I actually get this at the local uh, foam shop. Like, you like get a sewing it. shop. Yeah, 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 just foam. You know, it, pretty much any of your auto interior shops will have, you know, supply places will have foam. Okay. You know, this is just a basic two inch um, high density foam. Right. You know, it's. it's uh, That's about what you'd find in a normal car, right. which you do all your interiors yeah. in. So you can get it differently. You can get two inch, three inch, four right. inch. But two inch is inch. what you want to use. Two inch is what I use okay. on these cars. It's what this is marked up for, two all inch. Right. Now, if you wanted the seat a little higher, right. you could put you another piece 
in here and then put the two inch foam on it. I got you. You know, to give it a little bit height if you're a short person. Maybe your wife's a little shorter than you are. She you wants know, to sit up in the car. If you're you really just, tall, you'd right. want to go with a two inch. If right. you're, you know, a little shorter, you might want to go with a three inch. Right, I got you. You know, yeah. but then all you do, you glue all of this and then it just molds like, so pretend like that's got glue on it. And right. that'll just, that'll just mold right to the, Right to your seat. And you smoke down there tight. And it and you and it's glued down in there. Right. You gotta make sure you get that thing glued down in there real good or it's gonna pull up on you and all right, that stuff. Right. So you want you know the you leather won't hold it on there. You want it to be glued on there. Your foam needs to be glued to your fiberglass, right. yeah. And it needs to be a good tight fit. And you don't want to cut the edges, you want to roll over the edges so everything has got some pad on it and all, right? Right. Now what I do, I'll glue that down and then glue that to there and I'll take a straight edge and cut it right across to there, leave it front long, let that front wrap around. Right. And then this side, your end result will look like this and then I take and glue these edges around and that gives you that round spot. Oh, uh, I got you. So see how that's nice right. and rounded like that right there? Right. That gives you that round. And then when you put your French seam around it, you know, and everything, it gives you an exact place where to put everything. So it's a, it's a real good thing. And then it's a project that actually, you know, you, you, if you want it professionally done, you can do that. But it sounds like something that that part of it, you could do if you took your time. And then I mean, it's just can do yeah, this right here. You know, this on. is going to be very basic. You know, it's going to be very simple. This is already cut out for your convertible top hinge. It actually sits in right here. Okay. Convertible top sits down in behind it. All of it works good and functional. Yeah, your your just your average trim shop could uh, you know should be able to just glue it. And if you got any basic knowledge of you know trim shop, right? You know, you glue that down, wrap it, wrap your foam around it, and uh, make your pattern to you know fit whatever pattern you want. Right. You know, you, Design it however, but um, so you could you as uh, and I know I know I know this answer, but I ask anyhow. But I mean, another poster shop, if they wanted these, you'd be glad to sell them to them oh, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they could do that. But, and then we talk too that it's even possible you're going to try to work it out that if you've already got a car done, you can just send you an example of what you want, and mm -hmm. you'll build the seat for them and set them to them. They should fit right in there. Put oh, some yeah. Velcro in there, you'd be good to go. You can buy everything factory on that car if you want to just factory car, but an aftermarket seat that'll right. set you down and set right, you right, 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 right. You can put all your factory door panels that you can get from your Corvette dealership, you know, right. and uh, buy these seats, or you can buy them covered. You know, we'll send them to you, black, whatever, right. you know, most of your basic Corvette colors. Um, we can cover it in the leather, send you the seat already covered, and you just take your old seat out, put your new seat in, and No mounting bolts or anything, it's, Vel it's Velcro. <laughs> You're ready to roll that night. Yeah. You know, it'll be cool. very simple. Yeah. Very easily a project you do over on a weekend. Oh, yeah. You can start on Friday night, be cruising Saturday afternoon. Oh, that. yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Dude, I think that's a great idea, and I know, you know what I'm saying, anything that we can try to put on the market to make things easier for people is always mm -hmm. a big plus, and I, like I said, I think everybody that has one, been in one, seen one, is going to realize what a big advantage these seats are going to be. Oh, yeah, they're, they're so... I mean, it's not day difference. It's the drive the comfort, comfortability of driving your car. Right. You can actually enjoy driving it. Right. Or you can be miserable sitting up there like this. You know, right. knees hitting. The, you know, your steering wheel and everything. You know, you can right. drop down, drop back, cruise around. You know, it, very comfortable, very cool. nice. Yeah. Dude, awesome, man. I guess as things roll out, we'll keep people uh, focused on what's going on or informed on what's going right. on. Right. Yeah, yeah. And we'll have prices and all that stuff. You know, we can sell just a mold or we'll sell, you know, we can sell a kit that comes with the mold and the foam. Or, or you can sell it to them foamed up already and then somebody's just going to put the leather on. Yeah, we can foam it up. Right. You can buy it with the foam or without the foam. We can go ahead and glue the foam on it for Any you. stage from this, from this, yeah. to a finished seat ready to go in the car. Right. We can do that. Yeah. Awesome, man. So, well, uh, I'm excited. I think it'll be pretty no cool. no I, I am too when you called me to do you know when you had this going on I was excited because I think it's cool a lot of people want pieces of your interior but can't afford <laughs> to send it to car or whatever right. and I think this is a this is a deal that you're gonna be able to put your name on and be proud of cool I'm glad I, 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 I think it'll do good I, yeah. I appreciate you coming out and showing the showing the world this I think it'll be a good product for everybody cool Folks, there you go. That's this cool product Tuesday. And you got to admit, that's a cool product when you can take two or three inches out of the back and out of the bottom of a car that's already tight. So anyway, Steve, Veronica, thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good day. Folks, there you go from uh, Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Interiors. Custom seats for the C1 Corvette. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.